Hey, what's going on everybody on YouTube? Steve here, Rake and Profit, rakeandprofit.com, coming to you from uh, beautiful Providence, Rhode Island. I'm here on a four day trip with Mama Profit. She's in the bathroom getting ready. We're going to hit some thrift stores soon. Show you the view. It is really, really nice. I believe that's the capital right there. But in any event, I wanted to uh, make a video talking about four of the biggest mistakes I notice uh, beginner resellers make things that are really holding uh, us back or holding you back as a new reseller, holding back your profits, holding back your ability to grow and scale and really turn this from maybe a hobby into something that actually can be maybe a part time to a full time income, depending on how hard you hit it. But before we get into this video, I wanted to remind you guys that today is the last day that the wholesale formula is going to be open. So if you've been watching the videos with myself, Dan and Eric, and these are Amazon sellers, they've done over $20 million in the last four years with the wholesale business model. They've got a course called the wholesale formula. It's literally closing down tonight at midnight Pacific time. So if you've been wanting to um, get into a course that teaches you how to start a wholesale business step by step, uh, tonight's the last day and then it's closing for six months. So uh, definitely check out the links down below if you want to check that out. And also I'm throwing in a uh, really cool exclusive bonus offer for anybody who claims that uh, through my special affiliate link. Doesn't cost you any more money, just something extra I'm throwing in to say thank you. So check that out in the description. But yeah, let's uh, get right into the video. So big mistake number one that I notice a lot of new resellers make and I fell into this trap, I think we all do when we start reselling, is we source way too much without listing an equal amount. So for example, we might go out and source 50 clothing items or 50 books, and it's a lot of fun sourcing because it's like you know a treasure hunt. You're going out, you're, you know, you're kind of like a lion going after a gazelle, you're hunting down those profits, you're finding it, it's fun, it's a drill and rush. But then you get home and you gotta list them and that's not so much fun, right? So a lot of times we fall into the trap of just sourcing, sourcing, sourcing. We're on that high, chasing that adrenaline rush and we're not listing enough items. We're not sending in enough items to Amazon FBA. We're not putting enough items on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or wherever we're listing those items. So you've gotta make sure not to fall in that trap. You're gonna make your profit when you list and sell your items. But if they're sitting, you know, in your car, they're sitting in your bedroom or in your warehouse or wherever and they're not listed, they're not available for sale, you're not gonna make any money. So that's a big mistake right there. I think we all fall into that trap. I certainly did as well, especially when I was on eBay. So make sure not to do that. Get in that habit, get in that ritual, that routine of listing on a regular basis. Big mistake number two, not tracking profit. A lot of times people, they're happy because their overall sales are growing. Maybe they went from $500 the first month to $1,500 the second to $3,000 the third, and they see the sales going up, so they're saying to themselves, you know, I'm doing well, the sales are improving. And especially when you post your sales on social media, everyone's like, oh my God, I did $50,000 this month. But they're not taking into consideration, you know, the cost of goods, um, paying employees, taxes, there's so many different things that, you know, boil down to your actual net profit, right? So gross revenue is, it's nice, it's a nice number to show off on social media and to kind of look at yourself and say, wow, like my sales are growing, but what's your actual profit, right? Um, one of the one of the best uh, softwares that I would recommend is it's called, uh, I think it's called GoDaddy Bookkeeping. That's a really good beginner. Um, hey mom, is, is that what you use, GoDaddy Bookkeeping? Outright. Okay, yeah, so that's what she uses. I know I started with that as well. Now I have an accountant, a bookkeeper, and I use QuickBooks, but the uh, Outright or GoDaddy bookkeeping, I forgot what it's called now, is a great thing that you can use to uh, track everything in your business. So you can link it up to your credit cards, your banks, and then you could uh, link it up even further to automatically put things in like office supply category or cost of goods sold category or. Um, you know, all the different categories that you have in your business when it comes down to taxes and all that stuff. So definitely make sure you're tracking your profit. Don't fall in love with your gross revenue because that's really just a number that doesn't even matter. Uh, number three, big mistake that I notice a lot of people make is they don't 
have an inventory management system. So if you're selling on eBay, you need to be able to manage your inventory. You need to know where it is, how to find it quickly and easily because you're gonna be getting questions coming in left and right. As you scale your business, more and more items are gonna sell. And I can still remember when I was living at home with my parents and my mom always makes jokes about it. We were actually talking about it yesterday. She said one time she remembers going into my room and it stunk like clothing, like it was like a mess, it was huge. She said it was so bad, she wouldn't even let my cat go into it. And the point I'm trying to make is like, I had a million clothes in my room and it was like 150 square feet and I had no inventory system, it was a mess. And I remember like items would sell and I couldn't find it and I had to cancel orders and it got to the point where I was like, I need to figure out a system. So I created this masking tape system where I would put a piece of masking tape on each hanger and I would associate a letter and a number to it. And that would allow me to easily find my items when they sold or if there was questions or I needed to uh, you know, bring a particular piece of inventory to my attention. So uh, the masking tape, system, masking tape system will work. The bin system will work. You can use bins and you can mark individual items and mark um, an inventory bin number on the outside. There's a million and one ways that you can create an inventory system, but it's huge. As you scale your business, you need to scale your inventory management system as well and have a system in place. And uh, the last thing that I want to talk about is, and this is a big mistake, is people, they get comfortable with their results and they think that they know it all and they're making progress. Maybe their business is slowly growing. Um, they're happy with where they are and they stop learning. It's a big mistake because if you're not growing, you're dying because there's always someone out there, another competitor, um, another business, the market's always changing. So if you think you're just running in place, you're falling behind. You actually have to continue to grow to even stay in place. And if you wanna continue to scale and push back your com push past your competitors, you really gotta push hard and learn new softwares, learn new items, study the sold listings, watch webinars, go through YouTube videos, hang out in Facebook groups, um, go to meetups, you know what I mean? We have a Connecticut thrifting meetup that we throw every couple of months and we do network and we learn from each other. These are things that are gonna allow you to stay ahead of the competition and grow your business. So those are some of the big mistakes that I notice um, based on my experience. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any other tips and advice for the people watching, put a comment down below. I know there's always a lot of like-minded people in the comments interacting and learning together. So um, put that comment down below. And again, for the folks out there who are interested in wholesale, be sure to check the links in the description. Hopefully this video gets up today. If you're watching this video at a later date and you're checking the links and the wholesale formula is not available, the course isn't around, it's because it's literally closed. It only opens up twice per year for a week at a time. And then they close it to focus on helping their students build their business and go through the course and the modules and all the webinars and stuff. So um, yeah, if you want that course, get into it now, plus all of our bonuses. You can check that out down below in the description. But with that being said, have an amazing day. I'm gonna go out and uh, kick some butt with Mama Profit, hit some thrift stores, find some deals, and hopefully you guys have a great week, weekend ahead, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.